Hi everyone, welcome to Custody Matters. My name is Danica Joan. Um, today, I, I guess the thing that, that I'm really present to right now is tragedy. Um, yesterday on Valentine's Day, on a day of love, uh, a, a teenager came and killed 17 of his classmates in South Florida at a high school. Um, I think that's something that I get that children, families go through this all the time. Uh, families who are going through high conflict custody situations where the child is caught in the middle, it, um, it puts families in such crisis and um, the children, the children are caught in the crisis. I know in this situation, this, this boy was, um, was a foster child um, that was adopted. Not sure what, what age he was adopted, him and his brother. But um, having worked as a guardian ad litem and really entertained the thought of, of adopting a teenage child myself, um, it's, I've learned a lot about what a child goes through. In, uh, in family situations that are not necessarily from like the parents in this group, I would say that, that, uh, but that the parents do love their children. They may not get along, they may, it may be so bitter and nasty that they don't get along, but they are, uh, but at least there's one thing that usually in many cases the only other person in the whole wide world that loves that child more, as much as you do is the other parent. Um, and in situations like this, a lot of times the, the, the um, foster children don't even have that. Uh, and they're taken into the system and a lot of times very loving uh, individuals are choosing to, to take these children in and try to love all their hurts away. And uh, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, and I believe in this situation that the, the, the boy that uh, massacred all of his classmates like that, the way he did, he just recently lost his, his mother, his adoptive mother in the fall and didn't have um, and his father his adoptive father passed away prior to that um, and I'm just I'm moved I'm moved to the fact that there are so many hurting children out there children that are going through so much pain and suffering in the foster system but yet and sometimes we do what we can to, to help love these hurts away. But when dealing with parents who are struggling with custody matters, custody um, tug of war, there's things that I think about in my five year divorce custody battle and how there's regrets that I have that I can never give those five years back to my children that the, the survival I was in wouldn't allow me to give all of myself to my children because of just the insanity of surviving custody battles and false allegations and, and so forth. So um, that's why I do what I do. And that's why I create this group to be of service to you such that these horrible things don't end up wreaking havoc in your the generations of your children and your grandchildren and that um and you never know you never know whatever seed that gets planted that got planted in that boy's heart many years ago that caused him to do what he did to uh, yesterday um, apparently, it's one of the most devastating, most tragic incidences that have happened since um, Oklahoma City, Columbine, like all of those things. So, um, 
I don't know, I just I just kept reading and reading and reading about the statistics of all of the different tragedies that have happened over the last uh, couple of decades. But um, anyways, I uh, if there's anything that you need, anything that I can do to to circumvent the the predictable future of um, of a of a future for your ch your children and your grandchildren such that they will they won't have the the major impact of a loss and a lot of times that is a loss of of dealing with when children do not have a loving relationship with both parents then there is a loss there's it's like they've they've lost an arm and uh, and I understand that you don't, a lot of times we do not have perfect, perfect parents. I didn't have perfect parents. I'm not a perfect parent. Um, and there are a lot of things that being of service to you, that even in my own life, there's still brokenness. And, uh, but yet all I can do is be of service to other families and continue to heal the hurts that, um, that were caused in my own family. And um, so post, um, share, try to get people who are hurting, who are at a loss of what to do. Um, let's get together. Let's coach them through, coach you through uh, whatever it is that you need to go through. I know that a lot of times that, uh, that things get so toxic and so nasty that that um, we feel like that sometimes the only answer is for that other parent to just disappear, go away, and uh, maybe even secretly think, wish that they would they would die. Um, unfortunately, that's not the answer. Not the answer at all. That um, the the key is forgiveness and um, and apology. So I know this is. Uh, shorter than usual i just i'm i'm just so moved from yesterday that i just i um so if there's anything that you need otherwise i will keep a track of the of the thread on at custody Matter, matters um group and i will broadcast on monday take care and have a good weekend blessings to everyone <laughs>